Is the Jackery Explorer 240 still worth it in 2023? Let's find out. It does not have a lot of the modern USB Type-C power delivery port, but you can totally use a car charger to gain access to the 12 volt socket and get more of the modern USB ports from it. I'm gonna show you how to do that and we'll charge up my laptop. Looks like um, it has the accessories included in this pouch. It supports solar charging and charging in the car using this um, barrel connection to 12 volts adapter. This is a really compact um, AC power adapter. I'm going to test it with my phone and see its recharging speed using my power, power meter. It's super compact. This is the Jackery's base model. We have the 12 volt port, one single AC output, which is rated at 200 watts continuous max. And then two USB type A ports. The, these are co all controlled using a single button press, including the 12 volt port. Large display with backlights. This button enables the backlight output from, from this uh, screen. You can see there is 47% left and uh, the power consumption output is six watts just by running the AC inverter alone. So you might wanna um, you know, charge the laptop using the 12 volt port without having to run the AC inverter. So uh, whenever possible, you know, use DC port whenever possible. I can show you how to do that. You can plug in something like this and charge MacBooks. We'll see how fast it recharges, but I really wanna to get to this point by using a super budget friendly uh, solution like this. You will be able to, look, I'm gonna grab my USB cable. This is a 100 watts capable cable. Uh, 65 watts charger. Let's see. Yeah, it is outputting 2.4 amps, 5 volts. Uh, that will change though. So the idea is to use the US, uh, USB C Type C charging instead of using the power adapter, AC power adapter from my MacBook Pro. Okay, uh, when we are waiting for that thing to, you know, go up to its maximum speed, yes, that's 65 watts, 65 watts. Uh, we will connect it to the wall charger and see if we can charge it and use it at the same time. That's the charging input. It is also the solar input or the car charging adapter input. This charger is rated at 20, uh, 19 volts, 3.42 amps. Okay, plug into the power meter. We'll see the charging speed. Yes, I can still use it and charge it at the same time. I'll have to click this. Yes, it's recharging at uh, 59 watts. It's not a uh, super fast charger, so we'll probably take five, six hours to re fully recharge. But the good thing is, if you connect this port to a solar panel, you will greatly offset the um, output. So running a, a laptop off the grid is gonna be uh, possible when you are recharging the battery at 61 watts according to the screen so it's really close to this power meter what, what's on this power meter 60 watt 61 watts um, and I'll also be able to charge my phone by you know slowly these are only rated at 5 volts 2.4 amps so it's a uh, shared 12 watts USB charger. So I would recommend if you wanna uh, charge it faster, get a larger 
car, car charging adapter and maybe you will be able to get around 120 watts out of it. This port is usually rated at 120. Um, so it's suitable for charging laptops or phones using this port. For the this kind of USB, old USB type A ports, it's designed for GoPros, phones, tablets, you know, if you wanna, if you're not in a hurry. I, otherwise, I would totally get a, a car charging adapter like this. Then AC port is good for maybe charging your uh, fan, you know, powering the fan or TV. Uh, well, 200 watts is more than enough to power a regular TV, which only is, uh, takes about 50 uh, to 80 watts usually, depending on the brightness setting of your TV. And it's good for uh, fridge. But these fridge usually can run from the 12 volt port. You should uh, take advantage of the 12 volt input um, whenever possible if you are camping. There's nothing in the back. We got large rubber pads for the foot. Uh, this handlebar is fixed, cannot be removed. So it really increased the height of the whole device. Um, but it's on the other hand, it's very handy to carry it around. Now it's 66 watts now. We can see the power consumption is 53 watts continuous. Okay. Um, yeah, by plugging in other chargers, you can uh, still increase the connectivity of this device. There's nothing preventing me from plugging in a power strip. So yeah, if you feel like the AC ports is not enough, you can just pl plug in a power strip. But keep in mind to keep everything under 200 watts. That's going to be the maximum uh, continuous output. And this capacity is rated at 241 watt hour. Yeah, still, uh, let's see if I have more USB port cable so I can charge my small electronics like this. Yeah, since this is their base uh, model, I think it is uh, still valid if you are on a budget. Um, you can get this really base, basic setup from Jackery. And they are very reliable. I've been using the Jackery Explorer 3, uh, 300 for more than two years now. Um, this was released back in 2016, I think. And still, it is not the lithium ion phosphate battery cells. Um, yeah, but the reliability is good, so I can still recommend it if you are on a budget and work around it using the USB type, uh, using the car chargers, you know, uh, still a good option.